this is from the top and what allows you guys to assert yourself the way you were able to when you contribute this week today? You know, I think the, the number one thing was the team spirit. Outstanding. From the start, we uh, were all business. We came ready to compete and play and and support each other. And and you could feel the energy from the group. So, you know, they're going to cause you problems. They're difficult to defend. And it's about staying with it and not relenting. And I thought that, uh, you know, our resolve was great. Our will was great. And um, we played fairly well until we were able to blow it open, which was uh, a very impressive third quarter. We only had nine points or so. We missed a lot of hugely makeable shots, but you guys were still able to blow this game wide open. I mean, is that just the effect he kind of has? He's able to create space, take it. He, he def- I mean, he definitely obviously uh, is a big threat the other team has to account for. Um, you know, overall, we, we just – took care of the basketball we played with pace we played with purpose uh we defended um in particularly in stretches and uh you know you could just see the feeling the feeling was was so positive from our group that uh you know there, there was there was no bend and no break in our, in our guys you know i think that was uh something that chicago could feel you were saying it's on un- it's unclear how long really take to see these big three kind of get in sync. It could be all season. It could happen instantaneously. Uh, considering they'd only played 17 minutes together, I think coming into this, are you surprised at how quickly they kind of started to get into a flow in the second half? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, I, on the one hand, it, it, these are things that each game presents something different. So tonight it, it felt seamless in, in many respects, but you know, I felt it was seamless largely because of our purpose. You know, we played with pace, we played with purpose, we you know, had a great team spirit. And so, you know, that makes up for a lot of the, you know, I'm not quite sure why I should be on this play or how should I play off him on this play. When you play with that pace, that purpose, and you have that spirit, um, you know, a lot of good things happen. And, and then you know, when you make shots, you know, we made a lot of shots, you know, it kind of reinforces everything you're doing. For the team spirit, is a lot of that because you have the big three and- uh, loaded and you're going against a great, I mean, a really good team. I mean, this is the first time you've had that circumstance against an elite team. I mean, does that get the players get up for that? Just- I definitely think that's a part of it. We we know they've beaten us twice. They're, they're first in the East and uh, we come in here and their crowd was excellent, you know, from before the game. I think that definitely uh, got our guys engaged. Mr. <coughs> you got uh, you know, we, we we really like them both. We like all the rookies. Uh, it's just a matter of giving them opportunities. David Duke had a five-game stretch. Um, you know, Kessler's deserved it, too. He's been really great. I think he adds length, athleticism, and, and uh, you know, he's he's really good at, I think, defensive instincts and sticking to the game plan. Um, and De'Ron gives us something different. You know, he's got great hands. He's physical. Um, he, he's got a knack for a few things out there on the floor for a, for a 20-year-old. So, um you know, we have confidence in him. You know, it's probably not going to be like that every night for a rookie, but that's the that's the player we know is in there. It's just a matter of how quickly can he develop and what kind of role does he have long term. You mentioned the third quarter. I think it was a thirty to eight run at one point. You guys run just what what we would open as you said that the you guys run away with it. Yeah, I think we we forced turnovers. We held them to nineteen points. We got out in transition, and that was probably it. But I think before we got the turnovers and the transition points, we were really solid. You know, it wasn't a lot of wasted possessions. We, like I said, there was pace and purpose offensively and defensively. We talked about just staying with it. You know, they make or miss. Let's stay with our game plan, stick to it. And I think that there was a consistency of play that we've been asking for recently that was there. Mm-hmm. This morning, you guys haven't been there so far this year, but uh, you get this win in this kind of setting. What kind of emotional lift does it give to a group that was trying to find its rhythm and, as you mentioned, getting into later in the year? Well, you, you know, these these games can can definitely um, give a team confidence, give them mojo and and something to build on. But it can also not, you know, you, you know, so it's a it's something that we definitely it's in the bank. We've shown that we can perform this way. We've shown the type of spirit and energy we can bring to the game, the purpose, like I said. Um, now we got to build on it, you know. Uh, we go back, we'll probably get home at five in the morning and we'll go back at it tomorrow and have Brooklyn, Portland, Chicago, Brooklyn, four and five. And so it's, you know, it's not linear. Like we're not going to, let's build on this tomorrow night. Who knows who's going to play tomorrow night and how it's going to, how we're going to approach it because, you know, we, we don't know what time we'll finish de-icing our plane tonight, let alone get home and, uh, 
and, and figure all those things out. So um, it was great performance. It's in the bank. We, we raised our level. We competed. We rose to the occasion. And, uh, you know, we moved forward. And hopefully it is, a, it is a moment in time that helped us get to another level. Kevin only played 30 minutes. Uh, is tomorrow the, the game that you guys have paid to, to sit him and get some rest? We'll, we'll see. You know, I, there's it's anything's possible at this point. We could rest. We could not. We could mix and match. But um, I think we're going to see how everyone feels in the morning, how they come out of tonight, and uh, make a long-term decision for tomorrow. I mean, you out-rebounded them. You mentioned the playing time. Bench got to give you a lot. I mean, you know, is, is this replica that you think was out, Kyrie, given that it's going to be in an app like this, or is this good? I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, he, Kyrie definitely is, is another uh, huge threat on the floor, whether he scores nine points or, or 29. Um, so, you know, clearly you lose a, you know, a, a generational talent when he's not in the lineup. But there's a level that we reached, like I said, with the purpose, the pace, the the spirit, um, the resolve that, you know, I thought was really important for our group to see how successful they can be when they do that. And so even without Kyrie, can we bring that same level more often than not? And uh, if we do, you know, we'll get back to a top 10 defense like we were for most of the year. We'll get back to, you know, pushing for, for the top spot in the East. But um, it's it, it's hard work. It's not easy. And you got to do it day in, day out. Please. A, how useful was it to see some of those shots going for him? And either of your centers, are you more or less confident in either of those two being back for a long time? I'm from the Marcus and Nick. Um, being back for, oh, um, good question. I, I, I don't, I, I don't think the Marcus will see, you know, but, um, you know, Nick's a day to day position right now you know I think we're, we're we've been we're just being very cautious I don't think Nick's you know we're not like fearful that Nick's got something that's going to keep him out long term it's just being cautious um same with Lamarcus but you know it's um yeah we haven't been with him so to speak so we'll get back and see how he's doing but I, I would say well that's uh unlikely but uh like I said all these decisions will be made tomorrow I think so that we kind of give it some space and see how everyone makes out in the morning I'm not going to do the math. Roughly plus 100 at DeAndre, Patty, and, and Blake. There was that hustle play, but they both go through the ball. What would you say to those three? The double dive was special, um, but they were great. Everyone uh, everyone played well. Um, it's nice when everyone has a, a part of the, the victory, and, and it's a, it was a team effort. You know, they, Blake had great minutes you know, defensively and even offensively. He, he, he made plays for us, so... He was great. Um, DB was great. Uh, you go down the line, everyone kind of contributed and, and got a, a good feeling out of it. And I thought just it was great to see the guys supporting each other from the jump. The bench was into the game, standing up, cheering their teammates on. I think that's the type of uh, development that we need as well as on the court development.